Hi, this is Janet Lambert, the Dallas Relocation Wrangler. In this video, I'll be talking about two cities that everyone loves to compare and pit against each other, and that is Frisco versus Plano. So let's get started. Okay. Frisco and Plano as brothers, okay? Plano is the big brother, and then years and years later, baby Frisco was born. Uh, because when Plano was rocking and rolling and back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, there were more cows than people up in Frisco. Of course, when all the land grabs started to the north, Frisco was right in line for that, and the developers just grabbed up Frisco. So Plano, being older, is closer in to Dallas in the Central Business District. So that's always made it very popular. It's one of the suburbs that you can get to quickly. Um, it borders the George Bush Tollway and the Sam Rayburn Tollway. Now, you jump across the Sam Rayburn Tollway and you're into Frisco. And Frisco and Plano share a very um, important interchange and a, a prime piece of real estate as well, and that's the uh, Dallas North Tollway and the Sam Rayburn Tollway. And you move back to the south of that in Plano where you find many of our corporate campuses that are set up. And a home to FedEx, Toyota, Frito-Lay, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Liberty Mutual, just to name a few. Uh, and if you live or work around this area, you are going to need a toll tag and a toll tag account to zip around these tollways and avoid the toll tag authorities because they will not be defunding that department anytime soon, believe me. Now, Frisco, as far as schools, the, Frisco is located in two different counties, and they have four different school districts, which is crazy. So if schools are important to you, be sure you know what county, what school district you're in, and check those out. Uh, they've got right now 10 high schools. They have one under construction, and a 12th one, I believe, is on the project boards. I read the one currently being built has a price tag on it of $111 million. <laughs> what happened to the desk, the chalkboard, and the cafeteria? It's crazy. Uh, Plano, on the other hand, has they have 11 high schools as well. I don't think they have any new, high, any new schools at all being built as far as that goes. Um, at this point, they're probably doing some renovations and upgrades to existing schools, which are now, what, 20, 30, and 40 years old. They also share, if you're in Frisco and Frisco and ISD and Plano and Plano ISD, they have a very similar combined property tax rate of a, just a little over 2% of your assessed value. And as far as housing goes, well, Plano is pretty much built out, obviously, because it's an older community. There are still pockets of some single-family homes you'll see being built, nothing on a large scale. They are building quite a few townhomes uh, in these different types of communities as well. And they also have a beautiful new high-rise condominium project, which is right at that interchange of, of the Dallas North Tollway and Sam Rayburn. Now, Plano was developed with a fantastic park and trail system, and they've got over 70 recreational uh, miles of trails. And many of the neighborhoods now are older and more established, so it's, it's a little greener feel than you get up north in Frisco where everything's a little newer with those sticks and bricks. Plano's downtown uh, is also seen a uh, great revitalization in the past few years. It's an old historic area, and it's got shops now and restaurants. They've, there's a lot of apartments around there. And of course, uh, the Dart Rail makes a stop in downtown Plano, uh, which makes it uh, even more popular. And also that brings me to another great point about Plano. They have the Dart Line. Uh, Plano opted into that program years ago when they were thinking about building our 
starting to build our Dallas area rapid transportation network. So it runs along I-75, Interstate 75, into the Central Business District of downtown, and it ends in Plano because the city to the north, Allen, did not opt in to participate in DART. So if you work anywhere along Interstate 75, you will want to look at DART as uh, a way to get to work because otherwise you're going to be in the Interstate 75 gridlock, and that's, that is a white knuckler, folks, believe me. So, uh, Plano is also in the process of leveling one of the old malls over along I-75 and the George Bush. And a developer has picked up that project and plans to turn it into a mixed-use development with single-family homes, uh, apartments, retail, a hotel, parks, trail system. And uh, they have put the price tag on that as... Uh, at one billion dollars. Frisco, on the other hand, is, uh, is like, hey, bring on the bling. Yes, there are older parts of Frisco, but for the most part, it's still pretty new and shiny. And in fact, in 2018, Money Magazine dubbed Frisco the number one place to live in America. Da-da! Living in America. I mean, they are building houses in Frisco faster than you can say slab pour on lot five. And the average newly constructed home in Frisco is running about 500000 which may have gone up since uh, this was taped. Frisco also has the distinction of being the ultimate sports destination. So let's see what we've got up there. Well, first of all, the Dallas Cowboys built this beautiful new facility, the Star. They relocated their headquarters and training facility up there. It also has a stadium, the Ford Stadium, which it was uh, designed and built in partnership with the city of Frisco and Frisco ISD. So the high schools get to use that as well. Uh, we have our FC Dallas soccer team plays in Toyota Stadium in Frisco. The Frisco Rough Riders, which is the uh, AA affiliate league of the Texas Rangers, play in the Dr. Pepper Ballpark Stadium. And we've got the uh, Legends Basketball Team, which is the G League affiliate of the Dallas Mavs, playing in Frisco. And the Dallas Stars Hockey Team move their headquarters up to Frisco. But of course, they still play in Dallas at the American Airlines Center. So how about that? And to put a little icing on that chocolate sports cake, uh, the piece de resistance is that the PGA, Professional Golf Association, it announced it was moving its headquarters from Florida to Frisco. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And they have purchased a prime primo 600 acre site in Northeast Frisco, and their development is going to include two championship golf courses, a practice course, a short course, office space, hotel, retail, a conference center, a park, some trails. It's like a city within a city within a golf course. But I ask, will they have putt-putt? So to wrap it up, I think that both of these cities just have a tremendous amount to offer its citizens and its residents. And I think for that, we should be very lucky in the Dallas area to have this suburb selection in our toolbox or arsenal uh, for people that are moving to our area. So I hope you found this video beneficial, informative, and factoid filled. <laughs> and if so, please like the video below. Uh, subscribe to it. You can link it. You can share it. Please comment. And of course, if you're moving to Big D, well, talk to me.